Hi everyone, LazyFire here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Today, target, we're going to, well, let me tell you, Salter. Thanks for asking. Uh, we're going to be going to our next mission. We're not going to go do the side mission that just popped up. And you can see the Tigress. Hey, 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 right here. Tigress is back in the air, uh, or here, space, sir. whatever it is. So uh, clearly, I've had to use a bit of a save to get back here. So... Tigris is setting out, sir. Yep, we've seen this before. Safe travels. To you as well, Captain Reyes. Now, she doesn't have a bunch of klaxon going off as soon as she tries to do that shit, huh? Hers may be better than ours. Ah, so... mission has also become available. Let me tell you something about what happened a second ago. I used the PlayStation to record. The PlayStation did not record the previous mission. What does that mean? That means that all the side missions are back because I had to go and redo this mission from the mission select menu. Whatever. Oh yeah, the success thing? Fuck them. Don't worry about that. Uh, we'll be fine. So I didn't show this off too well before, but when you zoom in on these things, it tells you a little bit about the planet itself. Uh, and then you get really close, or really far away, and it tells you about the cluster and who controls it. Um, and we go into the mission, you can see the mission's not actually on Mercury. This is going to be on an asteroid that orbits Mercury that we're mining as, you know, a race of, of beings. Anyways, let's get started on this because it could take a few minutes. Here's the lay of the land. This is Vesta 3, mining colony. Provides us with all the raw materials we need to rebuild the fleet. Today's shipment never left port. Prox 1800, Vesta HQ went dark. All attempts to make contact have since failed. What's their security package? Mechanized. Bots guard the facility. Our mission is to assess what happened and report back to the Admiral immediately. Special recon. He's throwing us an easy one. Don't be so sure. What do we got? The asteroid's not what it belongs to. We saw the path is well off its natural course. I've got a radiation trail. Where does it lead? Toward the sun, ma'am. How close? Just outside the operational boundary, Captain. Our equipment can handle it? If repairs from the blowout hold, I can wrestle it in. Let's go for it, Captain. You heard the man? Let's drop. All hands, drop stations. Collision alarms up. Drive is pulled. Ship is primed. We're set. Take us out, Gator. Jump in three, two, one. Status? Pilot's language is shows low. She'll hold. Radiation's increasing. Steady as she goes. Here comes the drop. In blocks in three, two, one. <sighs> UV filters, polarize the glass. Roger. Error margin point zero one. Good drop. Where's the asteroid, Gator? My coordinates were in the nurse, of course. Best of three should be. Right there. Confirmed. Vesta 3 directly off the bow. Matches velocity. We're following it. Stellar flying, Gator. Nice work, everyone. Bosun, tell Omar to get his team on the flight deck in three. Gator, get a Raven set. You got the con. Salt, you with me. You know it. She's already on the elevator. She wants to get this thing over with almost as badly as I do. Not that this is a bad mission, but it's a forgettable mission. We'll talk about that in a feeling, moment. Raider? What was the official council? On what? The Olympus attack. How many did we lose? Sixteen. <sighs> you heard what Max said. This shit ain't easy. Let's get to work, Slick. These guys are still going to town on this stuff, I swear. We're never gonna actually have this thing fixed, which, uh, I mean, makes a lot of fucking sense considering what we're putting it through. Captain, Chief decided to stop by. She's been working on a present for you two. So the Chief's present is something we've actually seen before. Let's take a look. Got your rig over here if you don't mind, Watch sir. this. ATAD. Automatic target acquisition drone. Fourth revision. It shoots what you shoot. Chief Center element. Thanks, Chief. Nothing but close quarters and open terrain on so, Some of Max's new ATADs to help close the gap. Yeah, no, I don't care. 
That's... That protection is always a good thing. So I've already set up... Shut up, Griff. So, I've already set up my preferred build. I'm going to tell you right now, this Titan's going to disappear in the mat, the, the middle of the level. Uh, because I'm going to start picking up other stuff, which is unfortunate, but this is also a good time for me to... Uh, power weapons are, for some reason, in this secondary category, because of course they are. So we're going to find one of these things uh, midway through the mission. They're not bad. Um, but the Titan probably won't make it too far, because the DCM-8 here is just super useful. So... Let's continue on. We've already seen the Titan. We haven't seen the DCM-8, actually, and that is an automatic shotgun that I completely forget as an automatic shotgun and keep using it like it's semi-auto. Whatever. That'll do you right, sir. All right. So, open the door... Go down a fucking slow elevator. Just How does an asteroid get that far off course? Let's go get that answer. <laughs> We're not rocket scientists. Want to bring the chief? Meh, I vote no. Boss! What do you call a fighter pilot in a rainstorm? Tell me! Dry as a bone. Or it's a wisdom lieutenant. Your raven's up on bay two. Staff sergeant and his men are waiting for you in the captain. Thanks, boss. Flares will wreak havoc on your avionics. Bring yourselves back in one piece. You got to go outside. I wonder if that's going to come. Is it Power Rangers over here? Jesus Christ. All right, so... Let's go talk at Omar for a second. At ease. Sure. Omar, what you got? Shima, you're my co-pilot. Never out of fight. Yes, ma'am. You on tight? Still standing, Staff Sergeant. That's the way. How's he? Max clearing up for combat. <laughs> Strong bastard. All right. It's our window, Raider. Come on up. We're right on target. It's a small window. I don't know how we're getting through. Ah, oh, I get it. Lieutenant Salter, go green. Boosters in three, two, one. Good set. We're in scanning range in 30. Check all frequencies for distress signals. Raj, radio's up. No Marines ever been this close to the day start, that's for sure. Ah, you hear that, Lieutenant? We're setting some sort of record. Stop talking, Cash. That's an order. Asteroid rotation's fluctuating. About a minute, give or take. That's a hundred times normal spin. Let's get a look at the day side. Nine hundred degrees in the sun? Holy shit. Get us to cover, Salt. Roger. No, nobody could have survived this. We don't know that. The facility's toast. Let's get back to base and report to Reigns. We should find a place to land. That is not advisable. Staff Sergeant. You pick your mission, Captain. Don't let it pick you. We're going down there. Search and rescue. Aye, sir. I see a hangar up ahead. We can set down inside out of the sun. Do it. Roger. Forcing down. Let's go. All right, let's get our boost rig, which I think is actually just a fucking helmet at this point, because I don't really see anything that would be a boost rig on our guys in this mission. Also, it's not also very useful. On me, be advised. Separation on the ground will be catastrophic. Stick together. Oh no, that's it. Let's find these civilians dead or alive. Move For some reason, I thought they were just air packs the last time I looked at it. Oh well. I don't know. I don't even see these things anymore. It's just how the game looks. Holy cow. Power is going on and off with the sun. Generators must be big. 
touch that light, we fly. Yeah, and that night cycle's coming back around any second. We have to move in the shade, there's no other way. Soldier's right. All the panels across the way will give us the cover we need. Here's our window. Get ready. Now, move! Run. That is all you can do at this point. Now, I wish they maybe played around with this a little bit more, because it's a cool concept that they completely stole from Chronicles of Riddick. No, not the video game, but rather the movie Chronicles of Riddick, starring Keith David and Judy Dench for whatever fucking bizarre reason. Right keep eyes on, use it to our advantage. This is nuts. You guys hear that? On the source of our beacon. Must have got caught outside. The dude is well done. We got eyes on a sizable structure. They can make it high analog. We're going down. Let's press. On you, Corporal. Alright, and run. I do love the, uh, you know, everything metal is going orange when we do this, and all the other shit that's happening. It's actually pretty great. Like, the little bits of details that they throw, while they're minimal, and something almost any game would do, it's still nice to see. Airlock's running on backup. Figures in an emergency. Yeah, well, I'd say this qualifies. Let's keep moving. On you, Captain. A lot of door opening in this mission. No reason to be stealthy. You guys hear that? Oh, looks like a quake hit or something. It'll take more than that to knock this place out of orbit. Everyone spread out. Let's see what we can find. get a weird aliens vibe from this whole uh, area of the game just because you know you've got this kind of derelict ship and everything's broken up and it's space and also they've got those helmets that have lights that shine directly in your face so you can see who the actor is inside the helmet um because i mean come on I, I don't think that's super useful anyways if you just wander around here for a bit, you can catch some vignettes where Reyes talks to people. Um, which is what I'm trying to trigger over here. But our guys haven't shown up here to say anything about that guy. And Kashima didn't show up here to talk to us. And see that the cupboards are here. So we're... Skipping ahead of some of the stuff here, huh? On you, Captain. Oh my god, Omar. Let it go. I am trying to make your guys do things. Now, interestingly enough, that's the armory. And if Kashima were here, he would say, hey, they stripped it bare. That's kind of weird, isn't it? Also, there would be a heavy weapon here, but um, because he's not here yet and wasn't here and probably is never coming... Uh, yeah, so I broke the scripting. On you, Captain. Will you shut up? At least now I know where he is. What I did, you know, kind of figuring this is what happened, is I actually went down this hallway here. And by doing that, I actually triggered Let's keep moving. to uh, to get to the next juncture instead of going to the next, or the other things, the set pieces. So, my bad. On you, Captain. Oh my god, Omar. Get over here, I got something. Coming for you. He was in a firefight? It looks that way. Poor bastard. Hey, Reyes, come check this out. I don't think these two were getting along so well. Maybe Ethan was right. You think that those things turned? Are their own security bots turned on them? They can't do that, right? Keep it tight. Breathers on. So, at this point, every time I play, I think, well, this is going to be a jump scare, right? We're looking for survivors forward in this position. On me, Reyes. Right behind you, Fever. On your six. 
never what you expect. This game is just throwing curveballs left and right, huh? Calmed. Why are they moving like that? There's blood on the walls. And that's a floor. Looks like his neck is broken. <laughs> I cannot believe that I actually hit some sort of invisible Let's hope so. Sorry for talking over that, but not very important text. There, there, there's... Ah. Every time he makes that face, it freaks me out. Power's up, the light! Okay. So that's why we brought the Titan. Now, despite what we've seen before, you can totally walk into the light here. And now you're kind of understanding why I brought the shock charges here. Uh, I am not fucking around if I don't have to. Because these guys will take you out in a couple of punches. Oh, by the way, automatic shotgun. Yes, you want to use an automatic shotgun. It tears these things up hard. But yeah, um... I picked a set of weapons that would be very effective against these robots. Simple as that. Gonna have to run here. Real quick, what are the chances these guys are even still alive? Now, the day night switch, I think, is actually a kind of cool idea where it's you know, it's kind of like running waves or something like that in a, in a co-op mode, right? So you've got your recharge time between waves, which is the night cycle, and the day cycle is just, fuck me, this is gonna be bad. And the night cycle, or the day cycle is when you have the wave coming in. Ah, here's the torch. Fuck it. I do not want to end up like this guy. So now, here's where my issue lies with this concept, by the way. These guys are well, shitty AI on our part, uh, which helps nothing. Um, so, what happens is I get punched a ton, and I'm kind of stuck as far back as possible shooting things. Now, the good news is that most of these guys, the robots, do not have weaponry. I just killed one with the Volk a second ago. Which is the first time in this segment I've actually seen one with weapons. Alright, Kate, take out anyone we can right now. There we go. That was the guy with the weapon. Now, the other thing about this segment here is that. Oh, I am dead. 
So believe it or not, in the first recording I did of this, I made this in one shot. No issue whatsoever. This time, looks like I'm gonna take a couple. So the other thing about this segment now is, uh, so let me just toss that. Oh. That almost worked. I forgot to send out the drone, which I think is going to hurt me more than not. Because uh, the drone actually does some pretty good work. Um, but yeah, the, the issue is that I have those shocks, and my guys are susceptible to being killed by the shocks. And I don't know why, but in this mission in particular, the shocks have a crazy range, and so you have to be a little, uh, a little careful about where you throw them. Which is bad because this is a mission where you get I wanted that bulk that that guy had. Okay, good. Well, we're going through then. That was ugly. That was bad. You think that was all of them? That'd be awesome if that was all of them. We're not waiting around to find out. Crazy. Right. Next door. Oh, it's a plot door, so I didn't open it with, uh, with pushing a stick. Eyes on this. I think we found our civvy. That's them, all right. Where are they? Close. Landing area over the mine. You were right, Captain. So I'll get back to Raven 1. I want you on the X for evac. Roger. I'll brief the run on what we know so far. Check. Listen up. We're getting those people out of here. The mine's just ahead of us. Straight show. Let's move. Last time, go ahead. Okay, so Salter is gone, and now it's just us, and, oh well, us, you, you know, you and I, Reyes, and the Marines. Uh, and, fuck it. Come on, sons. Good. This is excellent. This is what we wanted to see. Resources from these mines are critical to rebuilding the fleet. Thanks for the... A lesson of a thing that we've heard in the briefing. Uh, all right, so this area can go fuck itself. On the Twelve o'clock. Why? Because these guys are going to fucking walk at us, blow up, punch, shoot. I mean, basically anything you can think of that would make our lives a little bit more difficult, they will do in this room. So you, you might think, well, I'll just run ahead. Call of Duty no longer has infinitely respawning enemies, so if I can just get past them, I should be fine. They're, they're all like, you know, stock standard, the enemies are the enemies, right? No, don't try that shit. You will die. You will die repeatedly. What you wanna do is actually sit back Take your shots. Don't push too hard, but push. Uh, because getting caught in a corner with things that punch for half your fucking health is a bad thing, believe it or not. And, oh no, no. We ain't playing that game. The, this fucking shotgun just shreds these guys. And it is highly suggested that you use it if you go to play through this mission. Alright, so the way I just looked a second ago, that was actually the uh, way to get up if I went up that stairway that was staring me straight down when I first walked in the room. Fever, Raider, we're on the X, what's your status? Up and away. Contact with Retribution was a no-go. Solar flares are killing the net. 
They don't know we're here. They may be armed. Maintain fire discipline. We don't want any accidents. Back up. So, very weird. It took me four or five attempts to get through that room in my first recording yeah. that I lost. And this recording, it takes me one shot. And then the room that, I don't know. Wildly inconsistent. I'm Commander Nick Reyes. We're here to rescue you. I think happens. You're going to get us out of here? We have a transport ready for evac. Mom, can you tell us what happened? Cloud Circuit captured this. Set death ship came out of nowhere. Big son of a bitch. Open fire, not the asteroid, of course. Olympus was there, Captain. Our own mech. That was no accident, Dusty. I must have gotten into the program. Did you find any other survivors? There are more of us, but they... Okay. And you're all that's left. Landing pad right outside is covered by heat shielding, though. Materials here are highly explosive. Roger now. Let's do this. When you open us up to the air pad, the bots are going to get in here. We want to get out of here or no? Get your people lined up. We're going to have to make a run for the transport. I don't think it's a switch, but I'm not pulling it, Captain. Fever. Raider is opening an LZ for civilian evac. Be advised, exfil will be hot. Solid copy. I'm in place. Okay. This lever opens the shutters. I hope you know what you're doing. Nope. Oh well. LZ is open, favor. Time to close. Use your Raider. Marines, protect your people. Fire when ready. Hold them up. We evac on the night cycle. So, you're probably wondering how effective what I just did was. Generally, it's a very effective tactic. No, no, no. Uh, if you were able to take out a couple of waves of these guys with your shock grenades, then you're in a pretty good spot. So yeah, it's just surviving some waves. Like I said, this shotgun just shreds them. And there's a box right here. Now, if you happen to not have a fucking full box of ammo nearby for this sort of thing, you might be in a little bit of trouble. But, looks like it worked. I guess he was right, highly explosive. It's my job to make sure that we get back. We lift off on my order. We shouldn't have been down there in the first place. That's not your call. Mission comes first. Omar's words, not mine. I bring my men home, Salt. We do both. Captain, he goes willingly. He didn't have to, Corporal. Two seconds, Salt. All I needed was two more seconds. I needed those two seconds to get us off the X. What if it were me? What are you asking me? Would you have left me out there? I don't know. Yes, you do. Hesitation is a hole in the head, Reyes. We both know that. There was no other way. There's always another way. Not always. Since when? 
since you became captain. Send traffic, Gator. We received an emergency off rep, Captain. What's your ETA? We're coming in now. You're needed on the bridge ASAP, sir. Roger, we've got civilians on board. Acknowledged. We'll prep for offload. Out. This day's not ending anytime soon. Let's keep the barrel side out. Fight the enemy, not each other. You got the green light to do whatever it takes. Sorry about Omar Reyes. Me too, so. Dead Salter. So let's talk about Let's that mission. Bridge. All right, yeah, sure. We go to Mercury or Vesta 3. We lose Omar, incidentally, because of something the Olympus Mons did. Not giving us really any motivation or any more motivation to go avenge him or anything like that. He died because he thought that was the best course of action. He died doing what he loves, etc., etc., right? Why, why waste it? Why not have, you know, sailing coach or whatever, you know, Jon Snow show up and start messing him up and killing him in front of us and, and providing motivation for us. Instead, he just dies on this mission that's completely fucking forgettable outside of the thing they ripped off of a Vin Diesel movie from fucking 2006. <sighs> All right, this is too We'll handle this, sir. Meet me on the bridge when you're through, Corporal. Yes, Captain. sir. This way, if you would. Give us a sit rep. What happened, Ethan? Distress call from Farron. Should be in your hood now. This guy was in Halo. Are we in contact with Farron? Solar flares are blocking comms. Gator's trying to locate the position now. Something go wrong with the recon, sir? We saved lives out there, Ethan. But there were some problems. What kind of problems, ma'am? Staff Sergeant Omar didn't make it either. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Gator, I've got the captain. We're coming in now. That newsreel is an old newsreel. We've seen it before. Captain Azakon. Seal the bridge. Aye, sir. I zeroed in on Tigris' fix. Prepare a drop to that location. Commence when ready. Aye, sir. Lieutenant Salter, get our jacks on alert. I want Raven standing by for survivors. Reyes, I don't anticipate it. Just do it, so. Yes, sir. Captain, Kamu informs me you have a priority notification from the Admiral in your office. Well, let's go take a look. Hey, our computer. Yeah. Let's go say hi to our computer. Usually if we have a priority thing, it's from one, one of these screens, but no, this time the computer screen. Don't ask me why. All hands, condition two. This is the classified briefing regarding the POW known as Ryan. Identify yourself. Commander Nick Drop Reyes. Three, two, one. We believe Ryan's mission was to incinerate himself along with the Aegis. His implanted transponder would have been destroyed. Halting its signal, sending it all clear to the enemy fleet. Stratcom can only assume an invasion to follow. We need to act on this intel, Captain. Make it your purpose. Top Cat out. Captain, the ship is in position. We should get you out there. Sure. Next time. Next time we'll go out there. Bye, everyone.